IP ratings are another big thing in our industry. The first digit represents the ceiling against dust. So the intrusion of dust in a unit that can cause shorts and failures on the device. This is our uh, dust chamber. It's a very messy uh, testing situation where we uh, apply a vacuum to the product and, and uh, make sure to try to keep all of that dust outside of the product. It's a very small, fine talcum powder and it can find just about any hole that you have inside the product. So in the real world, you can have an instance where dust can get inside the product, get caught in between the, the scan lenses and the scan engine, or get caught underneath the display, and you can't wipe it away. So what we want to do is try to keep all of the dust that you'll see in a normal user's work environment and keep that out of our product. The second number in an IP rating has to do with a ceiling against rain and water. And that's important to make sure it's going to handle the environment you're going into. So this is our rain test fixture. It's used to test to our IPX4 rating. It's a calibrated fixture per the IP standards and we use it to do all of our rain testing. The CS40 users were looking at pre-sales and merchandising, you know, field sales in the home and office environment, and for transportation individuals who are doing like long haul trucking. They're in and out of vehicles, they're going to be talking on the phone, talking with management, coordinating deliveries and activities, and using the device primarily in an indoor setting. That doesn't mean they're not out in the real world using it. So the IP rating we selected for our device is the IP54. So if you want a device that's sealed, you gotta buy Intermec. Our devices are IP54 and better. Um, there are some competitive devices on the very lower end that are IP42, which really aren't sealed. IP42 is just resistant to a one millimeter probe or resistant essentially to a paper clip. Well, that's not sealed in a, a water environment that our products are used in. This screen material is IPX2 compliant meaning it'll stop a one millimeter probe from going through the material. The CS40 is IPX4 compliant. We're gonna show you a demonstration to illustrate this. So I'm putting our IPX2 rated screen material over top of our IPX4 rated CS40. I'm turn on the water. As you can see, the CS40 is sealed. Which product do you want to buy?